Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE and in this video I will show you 6 different tips and tricks to use this tablet. So guys, first of all, as you can see the tablet size is quite big. It is 12.4 inches so sometimes you find it difficult to use all the buttons with your hands okay so what you can do is for example i open some kind of website okay i just uh, go over here on the side okay and for example i want to use this recent button i just go on the side and i just move it like this okay you see the arrow appears and i can open the recent button function okay and then for example if i want to uh, go back to the home screen i just go again in this side okay and then i go like this and then i will go in the uh, in the home screen okay and then for example i want to use uh, this button okay the back button so i open some kind of other page and i want to go back so i just move it down this from side i move it down like that and then you see i will go back same thing i can uh, use uh, with this side okay so for example i want to go to the recent okay i just move it like this okay and then the recent button will open okay so how you can enable this function so guys you have to install an app okay the app name is one hand operation plus so go to the galaxy store okay so once you go into the galaxy store just type there one hand operation plus so you just download this app and once you download this app uh, you can see over here the app is downloaded already so you can see all the functions are over there how to use it how you can use the left handle or the right handle and then you have more settings option over here so once you install it everything will be done for you and then you can easily use this um, uh, uh, this handle from side you can see if i want to go recent i can use it if i go back to home screen i can use this as well if i want to go back okay so for example i open this page i just move it down and then i will go back so this is how you can use this function so guys second tip is related to the keyboard uh, so i open uh, any app where i have to use the keyboard so again the size is big and my hands cannot reach some of the um, alphabets so how uh, you can uh, use it so what you can do is you just go over here this option of the keyboard you can see over here okay and it gives you different keyboard options so you select this split keyboard okay so i just select it and then you can see the keyboard is divided into two parts and i can easily access all the alphabets all the digits and everything i can access uh, using this option so you can see over here i can easily use it the other option is the floating keyboard as well so for example i select this third option which is the floating keyboard so this keyboard is also good you can move it anywhere okay and then if you want you can also write with the pen okay so you can write here with the pen as well and then it will make it text for you so this is also useful so guys the next tip is related to the installation of a website as an app so guys some website they don't have apps okay but you want these website always and you use some websites always and you want to use them as an app so what you can do is you just uh, open the website for example through the samsung internet and then what you can do is you see this option over here these three lines just select it okay and once you select it you will see an option of add page to this a plus icon so just select this one and then you see there are different options so just select home screen okay and then you can uh, give it any name okay but i keep this name and then uh, press this add button so once you've done it it will ask you add to home screen and then you press add okay so then this app is uh, it will be available on your home screen so you can see over here this website is look like an app okay so whenever you want to open this app just go on your home screen and then just press this uh, app and then the website will open in front of you and then you can use this website so this is really really useful the next tip is also related to the website if you want to see the full uh, page of the website view full mode of the website what you can do is go again to the tools from here and then go to the settings okay and then you will see the option of layout and menu 
so just select it and once you select it you will see an option of hide status bar so you just enable it okay and then you will have the full version of the website the full mode of the website you can use it so if i disable it you see how it looks like okay and then you see now it looks different it gives you a full mode of the website you can also use these settings for example a show tab bar you can select it always or you can select only on large screen or you can select it as never so you can see over here it gives you full mode of a website so guys the next uh, tip is related to the edge panel clipboard so i open the edge panel from side and then i scroll and you will see an option of clipboard so guys always enable this it is really important i will show you how so for example you open some website okay and you copy some text okay so for example i copy this text okay so i copy it okay so now i copy it now if i want to access this copied text so simply what i can do i just open the edge panel and you see the copy text is in my clipboard okay and then for example you open uh, your samsung notes okay and then you want to bring this text you can easily do it i will show you so for example you op open this and then simply just drag it and you can put it over here so this is how you can use same way you can also uh, use this clipboard uh, for your smart select for example i like this image and i want to use it for smart selection so i just use the smart select option i just select this okay okay you will see and then i just download it okay so everything is done now i can simply access my clipboard and the image will be here so whatever you do copy or you download something it will be appear in your clipboard and then you can easily access through your clipboard if you click it it will show you over here you can also share it okay and then again if you want you can use in the samsung notes simply just drag it and then just simply drag and drop it over here and then you can use in your samsung notes as well so guys the last uh, tip is related to an app you can download that app name of the app is pentastic it is really important for your pen functionalities uh, so for example if you want to use different air command themes so it will change for you so for example currently it is default now for example i want to use this uh, air command theme i just select it and then i select it as use i can uh, use it so for example i press over here okay and then it will show me air command in this way okay and then i can also change the pointer for example i like uh, this pointer and i use it so when i bring my pen closer to the screen you see the pointer looks like that okay so you can see over here and then uh, if i want to use the air command okay so you see how it looks like this is the air command okay so this is how it looks so there are different options in the pentastic app okay so you have the this circle kind of uh, uh, air command option then you have this compact and then you have line okay so for example i select this circle and i use it okay so then i press this pen and then you see it looks like that so you can download this app and it gives you a lot of functionality uh, to your pen air commands different um, uh, pointer options as well available so for example there are different options available and then you have this double tap shortcut option for the uh, screen right and so you just press the button double tap on the screen and then you can simply uh, 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 screenshot uh, your image and then simply you can write on your screen okay so this is how you can uh, use this app so this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much